Hey gang, it's Travis, June 30th, and I want to tell you about Skipness Castle and the Chapel of St. Brennan that we stumbled across today while we were driving around Scotland. Oh, and check out this concrete arrow. That was to guide World War II planes to a uh, ocean bombing range. Uh, anyways, this is the Chapel of St. Brennan, and it was moved out of the old castle grounds when they redeveloped the castle. Um, to uh, replace the Chapel of St. Columba that was on the castle grounds. Because I guess when you move them, you got to rename them? I'm not sure how that works. Uh, this site was actually uh, built by the Norwegians when they controlled part of Scotland. I did not know that. And then throughout the centuries, it's been redeveloped a couple times. Um, the very last version of it added this giant uh, rectangular tower at the end, which would have been the quarters for the uh, Lord of the Manor, I guess, and some servants. Um, I just love this stuff, and especially seeing how this one has changed over and over again. You can see the uh, various rock changes and brick changes in it. So it's just a really fun place to visit and imagine how it's changed. And here I'm zooming down to... Um, a really weird room, and I think Michelle's going to tell you more about it in a second. This used to be the latrine tower in around 1300, but then it was later converted to a dovecot, which, as you may be able to guess from all the holes, is a place uh, for domesticated pigeons to nest. The tower at this castle was so well preserved, they were actually able to replace four beams and floors and recreate what the living areas would have been like inside this castle. That was really awesome. Michelle does a great job with our uh, Insta360 Go 3 and uh, checks out the rooms here. One of the things I love to do and really struggle with is picturing how this castle would have looked when it was, you know, built and occupied, like the battlements up here. You know, you'd have to have structures built into the walls so you could get up to man the battlements. And it looks like there were two or three floors here, but what did it look like? There's, you know, holes in the walls that would have supported beams. Uh, you just got to imagine that in the courtyard or bailey, that there would have been a much smaller open area because you would have had structures all around inside the fort, allowing you access to the uh, second and third floors. Just, I don't know, it's one of the things I love. You can see part of an old roof line there slanting down to the right. Um, below these windows were the old windows to the chapel where they blocked them off. Here's a blocked off doorway or giant window above this doorway. Just, I don't know, I love visualizing this stuff. And like they said, this fort went through three or four different families uh, between, I think it was used from 12, well, the site was used from 1200 into the 1700s, I believe. Um, so just a cool place to stop at. And the same guys that had this fort had the one at Loch, oh man, what was that place's name? Loch Hansa? Ah, we'll do a video about that one too. It was across the way and... Uh, that family had it all for a while. Here's the view from about 400 feet up around the castle. It's directly below us. Guys, have a good day.